today we're going to be covering all the tips and tricks that you guys need to win your own fight in Minecraft. Now this goes for Minecraft Java and Bedrock Edition so keep that in mind. I am on Java but most of these tips will also work on Bedrock and if not I will just mention that so don't worry about that. Anyways guys that's going to be pretty much it for the intro let us get right into the tips. Number one W tapping. Now I know this is just a normal tip that everyone knows but beginners may also be watching this video so I have to include every single tip but don't worry i will be covering the more advanced tips later in the video so w tapping is pretty simple now in java edition this is a exclusive feature so it means that it won't work on bedrock uh, but it can be helpful for spacing which i will mention later in the video w tapping is a mechanic when you hold w and after you hit the mob you release and then hold w again so it's it's a bit weird but i'll just show you the key binds whenever i do it so so if we're just going to go ahead and punch this zombie while holding w it gets to the green block but if we actually w tap so hold release hold as you can see it comes much further all right let's try again so hold and so as you can see this is the difference of just holding w and this is the difference between w tapping it makes you do more kb which is very useful so yeah that is tip number one and let's get on to tip number two also i forgot to mention that there are other versions like s tapping and shift tapping but these aren't as good as w tapping so yeah number two strafing now this one is pretty self-explanatory but i'll still show you how to pretty much do it as advanced as you can do so basically you gotta strafe the sides for them to make it harder to hit you now if i were to just go up front okay i got absolutely destroyed so basically you want to just strafe to the sides so it will make the so it will make it harder for your opponent to hit you now if i were to just not strafe whatsoever okay what is this guy doing? They follow speed. Now I'm going to strafe. As you can see, it is a bit harder for him to hit me. Now this is just a feature that applies both to Bedrock and Java Edition. So you can go ahead and just use that in both versions. So yeah. Which brings me to the next tip. Spacing. You always want to keep your distance as much as possible for them to make it as hard as possible to hit you. As you can see, I'm using my keybinds right now to to create as much space as I can between anti solar and me. Now obviously I'm still losing here because I'm just bad at the game, but yeah. You get the idea. Keep as much space, but make sure you can still hit your opponent within the three block range. CPS. Now if you don't know what CPS means, it basically means clicks per second. And the more clicks per second you get, the less KB you take. Now I'm going to just go ahead and click normal. And as you can see, I take a ton of KB. But if I start clicking fast, okay. If I start clicking fast, I actually have even less space between my opponent and he hits me even faster so I get wombo combo off the edge but you get the idea the faster you click the less KB you take as you can see I barely take any knockback because I click so fast and even though I still get wombo combo that's just because they just get more hits on me and I just have to get bigger which leads me to the next tip hit selecting you basically have to hit them right after they hit you it makes you be the one that falls to the ground first instead of them which makes you stay on the ground which makes you do more kb and reduce boom next tip is going to be jump resetting basically what this does is whenever you jump the exact moment that you get hit you take a lot less kb than if you were to just do nothing so right now I'm going to not jump reset whatsoever. I take a lot of KB there. 
even with a lot of CPS, I still get a lot of KB, so yeah. Now I'm going to try to jump reset. Now, the timing to get this right is very hard, and if you do it wrong, you will get heavily punished for it because then you'll take a lot of KB instead of not a lot of KB whatsoever. Alright, let's try again. As you can see, that was a bit of a jump reset. It is really hard to get right though. Now, another thing I forgot to mention that this also works both on Bedrock and Java Edition, so that is nice. As you can see, I'm getting a few jump resets. That was a jump reset. That was a jump reset, that was another one. That was another one. So yeah, as you can see, you take a lot less KB from that. Another tip I would like to mention is that low ground gives you an advantage. For example, you have all you always have three block reach. So if I go ahead and hit anti solar right now, as you can see, I am able to hit him. But he is not because he has to look down and so has to look diagonally giving him a more block range needing to reach to hit me. So a tip for you is to always aim as horizontally as possible and always try to have the low ground advantage. Alright guys, that is pretty much it for the tips and tricks I have for you today. If I actually missed any tips, let me know down in the comments below and maybe I'll feature them in a future video. But anyways guys, that's going to be pretty much it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed. If this video was helpful, make sure to leave a like and of course subscribe because I mean I'm so close to 300 subscribers. I may be doing a full reveal when I get 300. And anyways, like and subscribe. Bye.